Frederick Kesiakoff. Kesiakoff will be riding the Jura in support of his Astana teammate Vincenzo Nibali. But whilst everybody talks about what the time differences will be between he and Wiggins in the long 54.8 km individual time trial, Kesiakoff might just be thinking of his own stage success. In 2012, he beat Kant's Lara on home soil in the Tour de Suisse time trial and then went on to beat Froome and Contador in the Vuelta time trial later in the year. The hilly and technical nature of the Giro time trial on stage 8 will also suit this former mountain biker. Nasa Buani. Mark Cavendish is, as ever, the outright favourite for the sprint stage at this Giro. With Matt Goss, John Dagenkolb and Elio Viviani close behind, we shouldn't count out this young French champion. This year he has taken wins ahead of some illustrious company at the Tour of Oman and Paris-Nice. Buani is also not a stranger to the boxing ring in the off-season, and so he won't be afraid of a bit of pushing and shoving leading up to the final 200 metres. Raymunas Navadauskas Raymunas shot to prominence at last year's race when he took the leader's pink jersey after his team Garmin Sharp won the Stage 4 team time trial. Recently, he has been showing signs of some great form, winning a stage at the Tour of Romandy just over a week before the start of the Giro. Known as the Honey Badger amongst his teammates, Navadauskas will primarily be at the service of reigning Giro champion rider Ejidal, but if he gets his own chance, we could see more success for the Lithuanian. Filippo Pozzato a former Italian national champion and winner of a stage of the Giro in 2010, Pozzato is neither a sprinter, a climber, nor a time trialist. However, with the Giro including a number of stages which don't fit into any of the categories above, there will be plenty of opportunities for Pipo to take a stage win. Lars Back. This tireless worker from Denmark has spent countless kilometres riding on the front of the bunch at the service of sprinters such as Mark Cavendish and Andre Greipel, but last year he won his first ever stage at a Grand Tour on the 11th day of the Giro. With his team Lotto Bellesel not really having a top sprinter or general classification rider at the race, we can expect to again see Lars in the early breakaways, particularly in the second week. Mauro Sant'Ambrosio Sant'Ambrosio has spent the last three years at the service of Cadel Evans at Team BMC, but his move to the smaller Italian Vinny Fantini team appears to have done him the world of good. He started the season with sixth place overall at the Tour de Saint Louis, then finished second at the Queen stage of the Terreno Adriatico behind Chris Froome, and finally, just a week before the Giro, stood on the top step of the podium at the Grand Prix Industria di Artigianato. The small Italian climate is a good bet for a stage win and also a dark horse for a good placing on the final general classification. Matteo Rabatini, a teammate of Sant'Ambrosio, Rabatini had a hugely successful Giro in 2012, taking a stage win and also the mountains classification. 16th overall at the Terreno Adriatico in March showed that his climbing is going from strength to strength. The 25 year old doesn't quite have what it takes to ride for the general classification but he's certainly capable of another stage win at this year's race. Franco Pellizzotti. Pellizzotti has spent the majority of his career with the liquid gas team and took third overall at the 2009 Giro before becoming one of the few riders to have been banned through the UCI's biological passport system. He made a return last year with the Androni team and promptly took his first national championship title in the road race last June. At the age of 35, Pellizzotti will be keen to show off his Tricolore jersey at his home race and come back with at least a stage win under his belt. Carlos Betancourt Betancourt is a large part of the renaissance of Colombian cycling. A lot of eyes will be on his AG2R teammate Domenico Pozzavivo for the general classification, but Betancourt looks equally poised given his form so far this year. Seventh overall at the Tour of the Basque Country, was followed by fourth at Flesh Vallone and third at Liège Baston Liège. A stage win and a good GC placing are a possibility, but if you're looking for a candidate for the white jersey of best young rider, it's hard to look past Betancourt. Alex Dowsett. Dowsett left Team Sky at the end of last year in search of more opportunities at the biggest races. Now at Team Mobistar, that looks to have paid off as he gets to participate in his first ever Grand Tour. Dowsett is a double national time trial champion and a specialist in this discipline. The 24-year-old will therefore be targeting a top 10 on stage 8, a 54.8km race against the clock.
Well, I think stage 19 looks particularly exciting to watch on paper. It's only a short stage, I think it's just under 140 kilometers, but it goes over two climbs which peak at over two and a half thousand meters, the Gavia and then the Stelvio.